بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ویکو کنسٹرکٹر 2008 فرس ٹیوٹوریل آئی ایم انجینئر محمد قاسم شنواری ٹو ٹیچ یو ان دس ٹیوٹوریل ان دی ویری فرس ٹیوٹوریل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو سم انٹروڈکشن اباؤٹ ویکو مین انٹرفیس اینڈ ہیونگ سم سیٹنگز وچ ول بی یوزڈ تھرو آؤٹ دس ٹیوٹوریل So let's start our first tutorial. What we are going to do is to create a new project and having constructor 2008 template and standard profile 2008 setup work environment. Remember that on the very first use of Vico constructor, try to use the standard profile 2008 setup work environment. And if uh, once you have used and prepared the setup work environment, then you can use the last profile used. Click on the new icon, new button. Depending upon the type of machine and speed of machine you are using, it will take a little bit time to load. Okay, so it's the main interface of Vico Constructor 2008. What we are having on the very top is known as the title bar. Uh, next to the title bar, we are having the system menus. Next to the system menus, we are having the standard tools frequently used while drafting. And next to the standard tools, we are having the info box. This is known as the info box. Just to the left, I am having the toolbox in which I am having different types of tools which are further classified under the tabs of design, document, more and so on. What we require here is go to options, work environment, uh, go to window, palettes and click on navigator. So navigator box appears in which we have a lot of navigation options. Resize it and bring it on the top. Now again go to window, click on palettes and then favorites. Remember that we will be having some settings, some predefined settings which we will use throughout the project. And it's very difficult to reset the settings each time. So what we do, we define settings and we save it as favorites, which will be available in the favorites list. This is the type of setup work environment which I like most and I hope if you prepare your set of work environment in this way then it will be very easy for you to work in Vico Constructor 2008. You can, you can change it according to your own will but what the objective should be is to ease your work. Now let's define some of the favorites how we define favorites go to design wall we will define settings but i will say favorites we will de define some favorites related to wall so either double click on the wall or click on settings dialog while wall is selected okay mm, it will be better if i uh, define units first because we have to define the wall height so let's first define units. For units, go to Options, Project Preferences, Working Units and Levels. 
here select feet and decimal inches and 2 feet and decimal inches and up to two decimal places click on ok to accept the changes ok now units are defined now click on settings dialog box while while tool is selected what will we will be having the wall height is if we define the foundation type as this and make it as 16 inches automatically it is converted to the corresponding feet and inches and wall height keep the wall height from the very base as 14 feet and here you can have the settings related to floor and plan section you should go through it but I am not changing anything in it coming to model model select brick common bond and you should make sure that this wall should be structural bearing so to make it easier in Vico constructor what we do we assign layers to it so what a assigned layer to it is structural bearing now click on favorites save current as so here write interior interior load bearing wall enter so now these changes are saved as interior load bearing wall click on ok now let me define some more favorites in the same wall select 20 feet and remain it as 16 inches break common bond will be fine and you can change if you want to have some difference break white etc etc select break brown to have some difference and save these settings as exterior wall remember that in this case we are having the exterior wall also as structural bearing wall to make our work easy click on ok to accept the changes and click on ok now you can see that we are having the two favorites exterior wall interior wall let me make sure that these settings are saved correctly so what I am going to do is navigate through info box and see here the elevation top and elevation base in this case we should have both elevations to uh, both uh, base elevation to zero and these are zero so interior load bearing wall we are having uh, 14 feet and exterior we are having 20 feet it is rounded to even number so we have defined the favorites and we are ready to start creating our project which is to construct or you can say to draft a fire brigade station you should navigate through info box we will start to create our project to start creating the building in our second tutorial so this was the first tutorial in which we have general introduction and have some defined settings and saved them as favorites which will be used throughout these tutorials.
in next tutorial what we are going to do is to create the building masses or building structures so see you in next tutorial